Good afternoon, students. It's your eleventh zoology class. Our first lesson is the living world. So, in living world, previous class we have discussed about what is taxonomic hierarchy. In today's class, we are going to discuss about what is nomenclature in taxonomy. Okay. So, what is nomenclature means? You may notice I have written some words here. So, what are the words? Zaiza, Inime. Emberi, Manna, and Uman. Have you ever heard these kinds of words in your lifetime? Definitely, you may not hear these types of words, but all these words denotes human beings commonly. So, the word human being has so many words all around the world because. In our world, there are about six thousand languages are using. So, various regional people, various community people are using different different languages. So, in our world, there are about six thousand languages. Take for example, take water. Okay. So, in Tamil Nadu, the water is called Tanni, but in Malayalam, that is Kerala, it is called Bellam. Okay, and in some other language it is called Nilu Pani like that. It has so many uh, words, so many languages. Okay, so the word water itself has so many uh, words in different languages according to the uh, regional people, community people. So one may not know all the languages. It is impossible to learn. All the six thousand languages for an individual. So, common name is essential. If you see a dog all around the world, it must it must call it as dog. If you see a cat all around the world, cat means all the people should understand what is cat. So, one organism must have common name all around the world. That naming pattern is called nomenclature method. But when the nomenclature method starts, we may not know because when the thinking capacity of human being starts, that time even that ancient period time itself, if the human being see one object, for example, stone means immediately he name that stone as a stone. If you see an elephant, immediately he called us an elephant. Okay, so when the naming pattern starts, we may not know, but the naming pattern in biology it should be systematic. Why it should be systematic? So that only all the people in the world can understand what is. Binomial. What is nomenclature and what is the meaning of the particular organism? Okay. So simply saying, what is nomenclature? Nomen means name. Clature means culture or pattern. So what is nomenclature? Process of assigning scientific name to animal. The word is very important. Scientific name. Okay, so process of assigning scientific name to animals or taxonomic group is called nomenclature. Okay, so it has some rules and regulations. Okay, if you see an organism immediately, we may we may we may not put particular organism in a particular name. It has some rules and regulations. Okay, so for name a particular organism, one must have deeper understanding of unique characters of each organism. What is unique character? For example, there are two types of cat are present in world. One is wild cat. Another one is domestic cat. Wild cat and domestic cat. Okay, the wild cat is called Felis silvestris. Silvestris. But domestic cat is domestic cat is Felis domestica. 
So the scientific name of wild cat is Felis sylvestris. Scientific name of domestic cat is Felis domestica. Why two names here? Because there is a difference between the characters of wild cat and domestic cat. Because the wild cat may live in forest, the domestic cat can live in our house, domestic life. Okay, so the habitat of these two cat varieties are different. So the species is different. So we should name in a different pattern. That is Felis sylvestris and Felis domestica. Okay, so habitat is a unique character of the cat. We must understand the habitat that is unique characters of the organism so that only we may put one organism in a particular name. So, for naming the organism, one must have the deeper understanding of unique characters of each organism based on their similarities and dissimilarities. The naming pattern should have the guidelines of ICZN. What is ICZN here? Indian Council for Zoological Nomenclature. This organization only have the guidelines for putting the name of a particular organism, scientific name of the particular organism. So, what is nomenclature? Process of assigning scientific name to the particular animal or particular taxonomic group based on the similarities and dissimilarities, based on the guidelines of IECZ and is called nomenclature. Okay. And the next level of nomenclature is binomial nomenclature. Okay. In ancient period, one particular organism has such a lengthy name. Lengthy name in the sense, it may have some two lines or three lines even. But if you call the organism in such a lengthy line, it is very difficult. So, Carolus Linnaeus put a rule, that rule is, one organism may have only two names, that is enough. Okay, so organism, one particular organism, call it as a two name, that is enough, that is called binomial nomenclature. Bi means two, nomial means name. So one particular organism has only two names, that is called binomial nomenclature. It was introduced by Carolus Linnaeus. Okay. So if you notice here, I have written some example. Pavo cristatus, Panthera tigris, Chalcothax indica. Okay. So if you notice, I have written as two names. The first name refers to genus name and the second name refers to a species name. So, one particular organism has one genus name and the species name means two names that is called binomial nomenclature. What is power cristatus? Our common Indian pea fowl, our national bird is power cristatus. What is panthera tigris? Our national animal tiger is panthera tigris. What, what is chalcophax indica? Common emerald dove. Okay, state bird. That is in Tamil it is called Maragadha Pura. So, child of a fax indica emerald. So, if you notice here, it has one particular organism has one genus name and the species name. So, naming the organism in two names, that is called binomial nomenclature. Okay, but this power of status means all around the world, the people can understand that is P fowl. Okay, Panthera tigris. All around the world, the people can understand that is tiger. Like that, binomial nomenclature. One genus name, another species name. Okay, and next level of nomenclature, it goes to somewhat advanced level, that is trinomial nomenclature. What is trinomial nomenclature? Tri means three, nomial means naming pattern. So, Putting the organism in three names, that is called trinomial nomenclature, it was proposed, introduced by Huxley and Strickland. Okay. 
Say for example, car wheels, splendens, splendens, car wheels, splendens, insulins. Okay, so one genus name, another species name. Okay, if it is close, this much only it is binomial nomenclature. But here we can add one more additional uh, name that is called subspecies name. Subspecies name. Why this subspecies? Because Carvus splendens, Carvus splendens means common house crow. In our surrounding, we may notice some crows. Okay, this common house crow is called Carvus splendens. Okay, but in the house crow, we may notice there are some differences, slight differences are there. What is the difference means? Some crow has grey neck. But some crow has dull black neck. Okay. These two crows are same or different? Definitely they are different. So there are some slight variations are there in between the species. So we should add some additional name in there. That is called subspecies. So Carvus splendens has grey neck, grey neck crow. Carvus splendens insolens have dark black neck crow. Definitely these two species are different. So additional name subspecies should be essential here. Okay. And what is tautonomy? Tautonomy means if the genus name and species name are same. Some organism has same genus and species name means that is called tautonomy. Example, Naja, Naja. A common Indian cobra. Naga Babu. Common Indian cobra is Naja, Naja. But this tautonomy, only it is suitable for zoology only. It is not suitable for um, botany. Okay. So, tautonomy means naming the genus name and species name in a same name. Genus name or species name. Same are the things or that type of pattern is called Tata Nami. Example, Naja, Naja. Thank you.